dear students today we explaining ninth program the aim of the program is develop a menu driven program to fill a polygon using scanned line algorithm i'll tell you a brief overview of how polygon algor scan fill algorithm works consider a polygon and pass a scanned line across a polygon for each scanned line find the intersection of scanned line with all the edges of the polygon then sort the intersection point by increasing x coordinate then fill in all pixels between the pair of intersection points let us consider this simple polygon this shows a polygon which is being constructed by using a line loop primitive starting at the vertex coordinate position x 200 y 100 and my second coordinate position x equals 100 and y 200 and the third vertex coordinate position x equals 200 y equals 300 and the fourth one x is equal to 300 and y is 200 so a line loop primitive is used to construct the simple polygon So to fill this polygon with a solid color, I pass the scan line say from bottom to top. So, for example, if I scan the pass line at x at y is equal to zero, and then say y is equal to fifty and y is equal to hundred. So as I pass the scan line from top to from bottom to top. each scan line when it intersects a particular edge of the polygon i will find out what is the intersection point you need to find out the intersection point of the scan line with the polygon edges so find out all these intersection points and these intersection points have been then sorted and arranged in an increasing x coordinate value so once the intersection points are been once the intersection points are been computed you can fill the pixels presents between these intersection points so this is the idea used in how a polygon can be filled with a solid color the program works like this i have included the required libraries stdio.h math for the math library and i have included glut.h there i have defined certain array variable like le left edge which stands for heli and right edge array a variable flag initialized with the value 0 a variable m that is used to compute the slope of the line equation so start for the main function in the main function the very first function glut function which we include is glut init glut init function glut init will initialize open glut all the internal data structure it process the command line arguments to control the initial window position next we call glut init window position and i have specified the window position value as 100 comma 100 so your 100 represents x location and x location in the pixel value and this 100 represents a y location in pixels next we call glut create window this creates a window where i give the name of the window as scan line then i call a call i call an init function this is a basic init function wherein we can set 
the global attributes for the object like the background color of the object background color of the window or it can be color of the object and you can set up the desired projection and model view matrix so this is the init function this this init function in the program i have specified the two dimensional orthographic viewing region the two dimensional orthographic viewing region and i've specified the region size 0 comma 500 comma 0 comma 500 so this blue ortho 2d the first parameter 0 here is the left and right here is the 500 this is x min x max and this is top and bottom so this creates a projection matrix which maps 0 to the left border of the viewport and 500 is the x max to the right and 0 to the top and 500 to the bottom so this gives you a image represents this is the display window and inside the display window you can see the viewport which is nothing but the clipping plane and we define what is the size of this clipping plane using blue ortho 2d function so in the program the blue ortho 2d the window size it's been set from x main to x x that is 500 by 500 next i call a callback function called display so let from the main function i call a display callback function so the display function which i call here this is the display function this is the display function in the display function the very first function is clear color i call a gl clear color function gl clear color is used to set the background color of the window and here all the r g b and alpha red green blue alpha all the values are being set with all parameters are set with the value 1 and this sets the background color to white. I call GL clear and this GL clear will set the bit plane area of the window to value which is previously selected by GL clear color. And the parameter which we pass on to this function GL color is GL color buffer bit. So this GL color buffer bed indicates the buffer which is currently enabled for color writing. Next, I set I call GL color function to set the object color that is the polygon color. So this GL color takes three argument red, green, blue, and I set the blue with value 1 that indicates the object polygon is drawn with a blue color line. You can draw a polygon using a simple GL line loop primitive. So this primitive is being passed as an argument to the GL begin function. Between the GL begin GL end, I included four vertex coordinate. I call GL vertex to specify the four vertex coordinate position. So GL vertex. 2 here indicates it is two dimensional and f here is the float type value. So I've specified 200 comma 100, 100, 200, 200 comma 300 and this is 300 comma 200. Next, this for loop is included wherein I need to initialize the left edge and right edge of the old polygon object i have to initialize the left edge value and the right edge value for the complete polygon with a certain value and i use here the index high which is being set to a value from 0 to a maximum of 500 where 500 is for the max size which i set in blue ortho 2d function so in the for loop for 
i index is equal to 0 i initialize le of 0 is equal to 500 and re of 0 is equal to 0 next le of 1 500 and re of 1 0 so initialization is done for all the index value from 0 to the max of 500 now I have to obtain the left edge and right edge of the polygon by taking two point of the polygon at a time. So to obtain the left edges and the right edge, I need to traverse along the edges of the polygon. So let me traverse along all the four edge of the polygon. So I'm calling a function called edge. And this is the first edge of the polygon specified with the vertex coordinate 200, 100, x0, y0, x1, y1. And this is the second edge, third edge, fourth edge. So we are calling a function called edge. So this is the edge function. So we'll see how this edge function will work. So as we traverse the edge of the polygon, you need to find out the edge vertex coordinate point. This is edge function. So this is the first edge of the polygon specified with the coordinate value x0, y0, x1, y1. This is the first edge. So in this edge function, first I will just you in the if statement check for the condition whether y1 value is greater than y0 if y1 value is greater than y0 then you need to swap the coordinate values of x and x0 y0 with x1 y1 and x1 y1 with x0 y0 so we need to check for this condition using this if statement if y1 we are checking for the condition if y1 that is a value 200 is it less than y0 that is 100 so the condition here is false so if this condition is false so the control comes here and i'm initializing a variable x with x0 we'll consider the variable x and initialize it with the value x0 so here initially the value of x0 is equal to 200 next calculate the slope m where m is equal to y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 so your x y1 minus y0 that is 200 minus 100 divided by 100 minus 200 your m value is equal to minus 1. So I have set the value x as 200 and the value of m is equal to minus 1. Now there is a for loop that for loop here for for loop here that runs here for every x coordinate to find out the intersection point between x0 y0 and x1 y1 so we need to find out what are all these intersection points present between these two vertex coordinate so to find these in intersection points starting from this vertex to this vertex so there's a for loop where it starts with i is equal to y0 i is equal to y0 according to the example your y0 is equal to 100 so if i is equal to y0 we check for the condition in the if statement whether your x value is less than le of i so x value less than le of i x value is what 200 so is 200 less than le of 200 le of 200 is being set with a max value of 500 so condition is true so now le of i will be equal to 200 and we also check whether this x value 200 is it greater than re of 100 re of 100 we have initialized with the value 0 
the condition is zero. So RE of 100 is also equal to 200. Next, calculate what is X. X is equal to X plus 1 by M. So X is equal to initially X is 200 and our slope is minus 1. So 200 minus 1 is 199. So the next for a value Y is equal to 100, the X intersection point here is 199. So our next intersection point will be 199 comma 100. Next, we check I is incremented and is the I value now 101, is it less than Y1? Yes, condition true. Again, we check for the case whether is it less than LE of I? Yes, condition is true. So now LE of I becomes 199. We check is it greater than? It is greater than zero. Yes, condition true. So it becomes 199. Again, I calculate X. So the next intersection point will be 198, 101. So this for loop runs for the condition from I is equal to Y0 up to max of Y1. Wherein we find all the intersection points present between these two vertex coordinate along the first edge. So this process is being repeated for every edge in the polygon for all the four edges in the polygon. So we calculate the intersection point for all the four edges in the polygon. So once we compute the intersection point between the every vertex coordinate, next I check for the condition if flag is equal to 1. So I have initialized in the program at the beginning flag value is equal to 0. So this condition is false and then it, the control comes here GL flash, GL flash and it will just display a simple polygon. So display will just display a simple polygon which is drawn using a line loop primitive. The, it is just an outline, outline of the polygon. It's an empty polygon. Next, GLUT create menu. GLUT I call upon GLUT create menu in the main function. And this GLUT create menu is a top this is a function used to create a top level menu that calls a callback function called scan menu. This calls a callback function called scan menu. So this is the scan menu function. So this scan menu function is passed upon an integer value from the menu entry. And this function always will return one unique menu identifier. So this is a scan menu function. It's a callback function. The name of the callback function is scan menu. Suppose the identifier, if ID is equal to one. So I've created a menu and I add upon the day, I had upon the menu functions like add menu entry, if the ID is one and the name of the menu pop-up menu is scan fill and if the ID is 2, it is clear and ID is 3, it is exit. So if you just right click the mouse button, there is a menu that pops up and the menu is created using this function called create menu and the pop-up of the menus to be displayed. What is the name? We are giving the name by using the function called glut at menu entry and if ID is 1, it it is scan fill, it functions scan fill, and if it is two, it functions a clear function, and if it is three, it simply exits. So if ID is equal to one, then I'm, I set the flag is equal to one. So ID is scan fill. That means this polygon, which is an empty polygon, if the flag is equal to one, we need to fill this polygon with a solid color. So if flag is equal to one, so I am going to pass a scan line from 
y is equal to 0 up to 500. So as the scan line passes along the polygon edges, we are going to check whether Le of y is equal to Re of i. Of course, this condition will be always true because your left edge y value will be always less than the right edge y value. So on this condition true, I just pass the scan line from j is equal to Le of i from this to this. And wherever we find a pixel between the intersection points, between the edge intersection point, I call upon GL point primitive by passing as an argument to GL begin and I just fill that particular vertex. I set that pixel intensity with a color. Say I've called upon GL color where I set the pixel value with one that is red. So this for loop repeats for every scan line that passes from y is equal to 0 to 500 to fill all the pixels with the red value between the intersection point of the left edge and right edge. Or else if id is equal to 2 then flag is equal to 0. So when I select clear it is again a empty polygon if i select menu option one it is a polygon filled with solid color or else if id is equal to three i simply exit from the screen and at the end of the menu i always call glut post redisplay this glut post redisplay This always marks the normal plane of current window which has to be redisplayed again. On the next iteration, the object to be displayed again by calling the display function. So we call upon at the end of the menu function glut post redisplay. We call glut attach menu a glut function. And the argument which we pass upon is the mouse button. So you can pass either left button, middle button or right button. So based on which mouse button to be function. So this attaches the create menu to be specified for the mouse button and the button here is set as left right button. So on the right click of the mouse button, there, are, there pop ups a menu which shows scan fill clear and exit. So at the end of the main function, we always require to call a glut main loop because this function is the one which tells glut to start reading and process all the events. And this function will never return. Only the program will exit when the user closes the main window or when the user process has been killed. So the output of the program is you can see when you just run the program, you get a window. It's an empty window with the background color set for white. Just right click on the mouse button. You can see a pop-up button. Uh, you can see a pop-up menu. And when you click scan fill, you can find a polygon filled with a solid red color. And when you select menu option clear, you can find an empty polygon like this. And when you click the third option exit, it, you simply exit from the screen. Thank you.